All right, hey everyone, it's uh, Mike from Signworks, and uh, I've been helping someone work on their MP5, and I got it in my shop right now. Um, I figured that I would just do a quick video. Um, some people, uh, some people were asking about how to change the dampeners, um, so I just wanted to just take a quick video to show you guys real quick. Uh, I already started to work on it, so we're just gonna kind of cut into it. Um, but what it is, is the, uh, there are these little clips right here on the side of the, the carriage. You're going to want to undo those and then slide this little bar out. There's one on both sides right here and right here. Um, I have already taken those off. Um, so, but I just want to show you guys that, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to take out all these cards and all the print heads to do it properly. Um, you can do it with all the stuff in there. It's just a real pain in the ass if you want to leave it in there. Um, so do the damage properly. You're going to have to remove all the cards and all the print heads. Um, just make sure that, that the machine is turned off. The carriage is in the centered position, and um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much what you do. Uh, I'm gonna try and do some more video, but I'm by myself right now, um, so I'll get this off and then I'll take another quick video, just showing you what it looks like off and and show everything and give a little more explanation. All right, so uh, all right, so I have released the carriage and we've turned the machine off. Uh, so everything's already, uh, we don't have to worry about anything. Uh, definitely touch metal so you can ground yourself. Um, so you don't, you know, short out anything. That's very important. Um, if you wanted to get one of those little things you attach to your wrist, to always connect you, um, just so you don't build up any static electricity. That was good. But, um, so we're just going to start taking off all the, all the different components Um, and also just take note, I don't know if, if you've realized or not, um, odd, the odd um, ribbon is always on the left side of the chip, of the, the board, and then even is on the right side of the board. So you'll just want to take note of that. Um, they do have little tabs on the side for you to pull up on so you don't damage the ribbon. Just kind of like put your fingertips under it and just wiggle it up. Um, you don't want to you don't want to damage anything or put any extra stress on any of the other components. Then after you get all the, the ribbons off the boards, um, you'll just easily enough just take the, the, the boards out. Um, you can go ahead and take this out. There are screws on the side right here. Um, that'll just take the, uh, the board loose. and um, Or not the board, but the, the, this little strap that holds the boards in. Hold on to your screws, make sure you don't lose them. And then this just tilts down. Um, it's got little pins on it on the sides, and it'll just tilt down. And then you just kind of will like rock the board just a little bit. 
and get it loose. Um, if you want to keep track of which boards go where, you can, but the boards are all the same. Um, but some some people may want to be a little more organized. So I just set them down in the order that I took them off. So. Then after that, um, you will want to take out the, the actual print heads themselves. Um, so you just want to get your Allen wrench. Um, I have my long one. Um, if you have a short one, no big deal. It's a whole lot easier um, with a longer one to get the back side. You'll just unscrew. And again, keep track of your screws. Um, you may want like a little cup or something to hold them so you don't lose them. Um, normally, I just put them in the center of like, I just set down a, uh, a masking masking cape kind of thing and just kind of like set them inside there um, but you can knock it over I mean same thing with a cup but I just like to keep them organized that way it keeps them centralized And also this procedure goes well with if you want to replace a print head and you want to do it the long way. Um, I do have another video of doing it like kind of like the quick way um, or what I feel is the quick way. Uh, you, you have less to take apart. Um, this way is easier in the fact of like of accessing all the, the hoses and everything. Um, but this is it does take longer. Um, to do it this way so it's all about if you want to take take more time and do it uh, this way or if you want to just try and get it done faster Now in this machine, um, we did replace some of the the print hoses because um, some of them were clogged up. Um, this machine has been sitting for quite a while, which is why we're having to change all the dampeners uh, or dumpers or whatever you want to call them. Um, But I can't feel that last one. There we go. Uh, and this is why it's nice to have the tall thing because it's got a lot of stuff going on there and you can access it without having to put your hand all the way down in there. Um, so that's just, it just helps. So just be careful not to drop your screws. take out each one of the print heads now on the print heads um, the other part that you need to just look at it has these hoses on um, there's on each side is for one of the colors um, I use a pick um, so I can get it in focus Can't get in focus. Oh well, uh, it's just a it's just a regular pig. There are different kinds. Um, I have this one. Let me get one of the other ones. Uh, I have this one as well. 
Um, I kind of like this one um, on a lot of different things because uh, it helps like push it up. Uh, so basically, you just want to get it underneath the hose. and push up and just kind of like wiggle it um, and then you can just kind of like pull a little bit and it will just come right off um, don't use too much force because you don't want to shove your hand in the back um, but definitely these picks are really good a really good tool to have to get underneath this um, and just help kind of like push it over that little barb on the actual print head so And again, take your time. Don't rush it. You don't want to damage anything. Uh, one thing you want to be careful of is with the picks, um, since they do have a pointy end, you don't want to um, push too much into the hose because you can punch, punch through the hose. Like, you can puncture it. Um, that's not really what you want to do. Uh, so, just kind of keep that in mind just to be careful. Um, one thing to know uh, that I didn't show a second ago, um, you do, since you do have like the front, you do have a front and back on the hoses, um, on the dampeners, there's um, two dampeners for each color. Um, so like these two are for cyan, these two are for magenta. There's one that goes in the back and one that kind of like leans forward, okay? The one that is on the right side that kind of leans forward that's the one that's going to go to the front side of the front side of the thing um, it's kind of hard to see just because everything is here um, but this one goes to the front side um, which is the one that comes out like towards you and the other one the one in the back goes to the one that's further in the back okay so just kind of keep that in mind. I'm not really sure if it makes too much of a difference, um, <coughs> but just in case it does, it's one of those things that you may just want to to take note of it. So let's just fast forward and get all these the rest of these done. Now on the white ones, um, I did forget to mention this, even though I already took them off. The uh, the front bar, the front ones, the front nozzles, go to the dampeners um, for the white, and the back ones actually go um, to the the ones that are um, that go to the back over to the to the ink, and that is um, those lines are for the purge, the purge lines. Um, so just make note of that before you start taking it off, um, which ones go to which, um, just so you don't mess that up at the end. We do have tape on ours, um, to, to take note, so we are prepared for that. All right, so now after everything is out, this bar can come out. So this bar... And you can see um, this the the one that goes in the back goes flush with this, and the one that comes to the front lines up for this. Um, so when you look at it, it's got little things on the bottom here. This one goes to here, and then this one already lines up with the back side up, up against this plate, because there's another um, plate in the back that's the opposite. That so it goes in the back like that. And then the exact opposite on the other side as far as as the plate. So there's two plates, one like this and one like this, and they just fit. Um, so all you need to do is just take off these Ys right here for each one. Um, make sure that you get the little bottom piece as well. Um, sometimes I've had 
some come with these already attached and I've had some that didn't have them attached. Um, if it doesn't come attached, um, you, you may have to reuse it. What you want to do is just take your, um, your little pick and push in there ever so gently and it's gonna, it has a plastic O-ring on the inside that will just pop out. Um, just be careful not to damage this little um, angle piece because you may, you may have to reuse it if your dampeners doesn't, doesn't come with this. Um, now, we're gonna replace these. Um, I think there's like a clog right up in here that we just can't get out, um, that we can't push out. We already did it on the white and um, it was it was really clogged up right here on the bottom across the entire thing with the white. Um, so, and we just couldn't clean it. We tried cleaning it, uh, but these are very sensitive and also sometimes they they're get tiny little holes. Um, sometimes you can just press on it. And if you see ink come out from like anywhere around the edge or in the middle, you have a tiny little hole. Um, most of the time that won't happen. The only time that happens is if you were messing in there and you poked it by accident or something like that, or it could just be defective. Um, if it's defective, it just won't work. There's normally some sort of leak, maybe in the actual plastic park or something like that. Um, so, but we're just gonna get these, these replaced with brand new ones and then uh, make sure that everything's good to go. So that's how you take them apart and then you just do the exact opposite to put them back in. And there you go, now you can see the little sections in the back. Um, they are a pain in the butt. You want to make sure everything's lined up. There are these little grooves um, that the top of the top of the dampers just fit into. This little groove right here. It, go, it fits in that little groove right there if you can see that. Um, so everything kind of like wants to fit but to do this right you have to take all this out to do this right because um, if you don't it's just going to be a pain in the ass so but I'm going to clean all this up get all these off and uh, we'll install the new ones uh, I'm not going to show the video of, of me putting everything back together just because I don't want to knock the camera over and I have to be right here in front of the machine but um, hopefully this helps you uh, with what you need to do uh, all right, so you can see that there is a clog right there. Um, for the most part, the ink is going through it, but we're just going to replace it anyways, just to be on the safe side. So, all right. Actually, that's that's pretty good. I don't know why there's black ink in there. But, all right. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. Just let me know. Um, going to put this back together, get it up and running, and uh, just let me know if you guys have anything you want to know or want to see or anything, and uh, I'll put it together. All right, see you later.